My name is uh, Simon McDonald. I'm the Project Safety Manager for um, the 1630B Coolumbula Western Downs Transmission Project. In a nutshell, we're putting uh, infrastructure in to supply power feed to the western region of Queensland. Andrew Kingston, Project Manager for the Palmerston to Georgetown OPGW project. The project here in Tasmania is uh, installing 85 kilometres of optical grounding wire, OPGW, to the existing infrastructure. We also look at upgrading access tracks, increasing the strength of the foundations for the towers because they're taking a, a greater load. We also install new earth peaks to the towers, uh, ranging between 600, 700 to 1,000 kilos installed by helicopter. We have a number of trained people. Uh, in particular, we have our Certificate 3 linesmen. These guys are multi-skilled. They don't just come in to do the power lines, they come in to help with all of the process along the way. I'm Franklin Tobanlong, and right now I'm a team leader. John Holland is a nice company to work. They look after you, they will train you. They train me here to become a probationary lineman and then on the Certificate 3 linesman. Jonathan Kynance is my name and been on the string in probably the last seven years. Well, after the foundation's done, it's tower assembly on the ground. Then they do the erection and then the revision. Well, then we go ahead, hang in insulators, pulleys. And then from there, we do the helicopter running up with the draw wire. The rockets, we call them a rocket because they go off like a rocket when, when he's pulling fast. But the rolls of wire, they're in 800 metre lengths. When he comes to a tower, you can see the roll slowing down, so you know it's coming to a tower. And it'll take a bit to get it in the roller. Sometimes the pulley will turn from the wind and he's got to bring it back in line. We've got bars coming off most of the pulleys. We drop it on the bar and it automatically slides in. And then the clamping crew clamp it in after we finish pulling the wire. It's, it just gets bigger and bigger, you know, as you go along. My name is Krita. I'm the construction manager uh, for this project. The tower itself was not designed for this optic fibre. There is an existing survey has been done on the line by the client. Some of these towers will need a structure reinforcement, like the steel reinforcement. Some of them also will require like a foundation reinforcement before we can install the optic fibre. Most of them will require an additional piece of steel on top, which we call the earth peaks. So we erect this earth peak by the help of a helicopter. Then we also go through with a live line rope, which is like a draw wire through these earth peaks before we pull the real optic fiber afterwards. As I've come through with my project with John Holland, we have raise the bar even higher with environmental compliance. We're going over and above what is required by our client and by the regulatory bodies. So one of the main processes that we've put in place is that we've installed washdown bays on the entry into clean areas and on the exit out of weed management areas, areas where weeds are infested. So these particular areas are locked with a special lock to avoid people going in without having verification. And they're let in, they sign in, and then they're allowed to go in and do their works. I manage the environmental issues on the project, such as um, weed management and flora and fauna cultural heritage, and I manage the stakeholders and landowners. On this project, we've got over 250 landowners and stakeholders with very specific requirements. When we've needed to build tracks in their land, we've often managed to negotiate um, building them in areas where the farmers require tracks, and therefore they have gained significant benefits from our works in the area. We do a large number of notifications through social media, newspaper, radio ads, personal phone calls, letterbox drops and text messages to let them know when we're coming and what works will be occurring on their property. They really appreciate the advance notice. We're working for the future to make sure that moving forward John Holland complies with OHS. We don't harm anybody, that's, that's our number one priority on any of these projects. We can then walk away happy and say, that's another project successful, and move on to the next. 
We do meet quite regularly with our people, so our communication is a very high standard. We've got a lot of different cultures and international workers. It's one team, it's one in all in here, and at the end of the day we've got a small family here of people that care and look after each other. These guys move on to the next projects and it just makes it so much easier if you've got the similar crews who have that same knowledge and then they can transfer to the crews that they work with as well. Very pleased to say that there's been excellent collaboration between the Coolamboola project in Queensland and our project here in Tasmania. The project here has gone uh, outstandingly well uh, so far. We've managed to hold to budget and from a program point of view we're actually expecting to finish two to three months early which is an outstanding achievement uh, and testament to the great team that we have here but really has that family atmosphere which is very special and something John Holland should, um, should cherish and take forward.